Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. Um, I'm in a little bit of a weird place right now. Um, you see the angle's a bit different from where I normally am. I'm sitting on the couch because my dining table right now is being taken up by a very large Lego set. Let me show you. Oh yes, look at that bad boy. It is absolutely beautiful. Came with a few we freebies as well. Yeah, so that's the Rivendell set from Lego. It was about £430, I think. Got a couple of freebies with it as well, but it is a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be based on the pictures. So that's currently taking up my dining table, so I'll have to film my next few videos here probably until I clear room on my shelf because I've got loads of stuff, Lego and other things, on my shelf just now and they're, they're already taking up pretty much all the space. So I need to move a few things around to make room for that because that is definitely going on display somewhere prominent. It is, that is a beautiful set, I must say. But anyway, you're not here for Lego talk, you're here for food talk. And we've got something which I've never had before. I'm sort of inspired by James May, because I, I saw James May eating it on a video. Um, he seems to like it. It's apparently a thing that a lot of older people used to eat. So this is Heinz Original Sandwich Spread. Like I say, I've never had this before. Um, I've seen it in the shop a million times. I've always thought that looks absolutely disgusting. I'll never eat that. Um, little did I know I would be reviewing food on TikTok and, not TikTok, this is YouTube, on YouTube. And um, I would need to basically try it at some point. So I've seen that, I've seen people eat this in different ways or James May ate this uh, on a sandwich with like some salad and some lettuce. So it's basically a salad sandwich. I can't say I'm one for salad sandwiches, never have been, as you can probably tell by looking at me, but um, I'm hoping this will be nice. I mean, I do like pickled stuff, and um, there's no particularly crazy vegetables in here, so it might be okay, but we'll see. We'll see. It might be very disgusting. I know I showed this to my missus, and she was revolted, so um, we'll find out, won't we? So let's read a little bit about it. So it's Heinz Original Sandwich Spread, the Tangy Crunchy Spread. Uh, suitable for vegetarians, no artificial colours. Doesn't look if it had artificial colours, it might look better, because that honestly looks like puke in a jar. <laughs> Doesn't look appetizing at all. Refrigerate after opening, eat within two weeks, and buy best before date. Well, uh, we might have like one bite of this and then it'll go in the bin. Uh it's a 300 gram jar, made by Heinz, of course. There's all your list of ingredients. If you want to pause the video and read those, but just to give you a sort of uh, rundown of the type of vegetables that are in it. Uh, cabbage, carrots, gherkins, uh, onions, red peppers. Um, and then there's like spices, guar gum and all that kind of stuff. So let's have a look at your nutritional values. So there's a 300 gram jar. That says per 20 gram serving or per 100 grams. We'll go per 20 gram serving. So that would mean there are 15 servings in this jar. I don't know, if you're eating that on a whole sandwich, I don't. I think you would have more than 20 grams. So I don't think you could spread that thin enough to only use a 15th of it. That seems a bit suspect. But anyway, we'll go with the, with the jar. So per 20 grams, 44 calories, 2.6 grams of fat, 0 0.2 grams of saturates, 4.7 grams of carbs, 0 0.2 grams of fiber, protein, and then 0 0.4 grams of salt. So... Yeah, not bad, actually, for the nutritional stuff. The highest thing in it is the sugars. But it's okay. It's all right, right? And it's got... This is another thing that kind of puts me off about it. This has got a sell-by date of 01-02-2024. So you can store puke in a jar for, like, a year. Which means that it's got to be full of chemicals and things. Right, I guess we should bust it open and give it a give it a try. I did bring through, I got a wee slice of bread. I didn't want to use two full slices of bread. I feel like that probably end up going to waste. So I've got one slice of bread, which I've cut in half there. And that's ready for spreading my bursting with flavour sandwich spread. So I can have a wee sandwich. But we'll try it on its own, just on the spoon, to see what it tastes like. Um, so we'll see how we go. Right. Looks really gelatinous, doesn't it? 
vinegary. Tastes like, uh, doesn't taste like, it smells like uh, salad cream. My nose is a little bit blocked just now, but I can still smell it. It's quite strong. Salad cream almost, I mean, I know there's, I know it's vegetarian. It's got a sort of smell of salad cream mixed with um, mussels. You know those jars of mussels, pickled mussels you can get? Kind of smells like that. But I guess that's just the pickle juice, right? Okay. Um, let's get a spoonful out. Let's see what the consistency is like. It's spongy. <laughs> oh. Eee. Doesn't look nice, does it? Doesn't look nice at all. It looks, it looks like vomit. Or, or it looks worse than chicken soup as you pour it out of the can before you've heated it up and it's stopped being gelatinized. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this dollop on my bread. Um spread that about. So we've got our sandwich spread sandwich. Ugh. Doesn't look nice. So we've got that to try. So it's sort of it'll be like a pickly pickly sort of sandwich. Um but I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a wee spoonful. A wee not a spoonful. Not a whole spoon. But well, we're gonna have this much. We'll have a wee bit. I'm not looking forward to this. Alright, this is Heinz Original Sandwich Spread. Let's give it the old taste test, shall we? It's got loads of stuff in it that I like. I just don't know why this is this seems really disgusting. Okay. Ooh! Ooh, that's tart really weird that didn't taste what how I was expecting oh I have another wee another wee spoonful oh that is really tart wow very very vinegary which um I'm not opposed to I, I quite like vinegary stuff I cover my chips in salt and vinegar love it Love salt and vinegar crisps, but that'd be too. That'd be too much for a lot of people. A lot of people, I would say. That is, um, whew, that's strong. It's very strong vinegary taste. I do not like the texture. It's got a, apart from the chunks, because you've got the little chunks of vegetables through it. The the saucy stuff, the the, the yellow stuff. It's supposed the stuff that's kind of looks like salad cream, but isn't. It's got a texture like butter, so it's like biting into butter. So on a spoon, not nice. I mean, it might be a bit better spread on some bread, but yeah, it's really weird. It's got a definitely has a consistency like 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 butter, or really maybe not even butter, like flora, or you know that that margarine or whatever you call it, that vegetable spread. Alright, we've got some on a sandwich here. Um, let's uh, give this a taste test and see see what it's like. Right, right, right down the middle, let's go. I like that. No. Nah. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that at all. No, it's um I could maybe forgive it for the vinegariness. It's very, very vinegary. Um It's a bit too vinegary though, I think. Way too vinegary. I could maybe forgive it for the vinegar vinegariness. If um it wasn't quite as harsh, but it is really harsh. And very, very strong taste. And the texture of that is disgusting. Like, the chunks maybe help a little, but that, the actual spready stuff, oh, it's got a horrible, horrible texture. Like, worse than butter. Sort of oily, kind of slick. 
I don't like it. Yeah, mm, no, that's gross. Um, James May seemed to like it. He's a, he's a weird guy. Maybe this is maybe people in the olden days used to like this because it's all they could get. <laughs> but that that is revolting. That is really disgusting. I would not eat that again. And this whole jar is going in the bin because I know my missus won't eat it either because she she doesn't like stuff like this. So yeah, gross, very gross. Don't want to keep it keep it away from me. Blech. I'm gonna go get some real lunch. I mean, what a fancy. I might have a bacon sandwich. Anyway, that'll do for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, hit the bell to get notifications anytime a new video comes out. And let me know what you want to see next. I've got a few things um, I still want to show you. Another disgusting one that I picked up from the same place as this. I got this in Iceland. But I think you can get it in pretty much any supermarket. Um, so, yeah. Some nice things to come. Some horrible things to come, maybe. And um, if there's anything else you want to see, just let me know. And head on over to SnackTube YouTube channel and have yourselves a wee SnackTube marathon. Because there's nothing better than watching a stupid idiot eat food for a living. Well, not for a living. I don't make any money doing this. Um, for a hobby. But thank you very much, guys. And I will catch you in the next video. I'll see you then.